right? Dabble. my channel this is woman of eternity where we are god fearing god living god loving i'm natalie hello hello and happy resurrection sunday y'all we are about to head to the house of the lord i'm feeling cute okay got my little accessories i ain't got no nails but that's fine i am so excited you guys he rose he's alive he's at the right hand of the father what and then we get to come back cook go spend time with family y'all today's about to be a bomb day it is about to be such a good day if you like this type of content true women of god living their best life for the lord subscribe think about it maybe you need to watch the video and then subscribe later do what you need to do but we're about to head to church y'all as expected there is a huge back up to get into the parking lot oh i should have came earlier there's some boys across from the church on the other side playing basketball and i wish a man would go over there and invite them to church the amount of people acting ugly on Easter this is crazy we all try to park relax oh my goodness y'all i cannot believe how ugly so once people started realizing like they had to drive down to just basically make a U-turn, they started making U-turns in the middle of the road to cut in front of everybody. At least y'all going to the right place because y'all need Jesus. That's ugly. You Girl, bye. <laughs> I, I called Gina. I was like, Gina, like, where are you, right? Because we go to church together. She said, oh, I'm in front of you. I saw you make the U-turn, so I just made the U-turn earlier. I was like, I literally was just talking about you on my vlog. How y'all gonna bust in line like that? Wow. <laughs>
gas in this parking lot just trying to get out but I'm going in with the Kosas and Tropical Bliss only on the bottom and then for the Glaus the Fenty and Sweet Mouth the pearlescence in this is so pretty So we are here, y'all. I'm in my happy place. And I can't wait for the garden to pick up. My family has such a green thumb. So all these are the herbs. These are all strawberries. Clearly it's not time yet, but when the time comes, I'm gonna be eating fresh produce. I want to get them rolls. Can oh, you, you move? Get <laughs> Can you move? Rolls? Do you want me to help you or not? No, I'm sorry. Roast. Why do you think I'm not doing the roast? The food is coming in. You can see the, um, the stuffing. The painting. Country stuffed ham. The Southern Maryland classic. No. Is that a compliment? Yes. I eat her food the most. No, it's just. Well, yeah. That's the truth. Okay. Oh, this one looks like the house camera said. I don't know. That's all that's missing, right? Oh, there's some oh, I don't care. Stop it. That's it. That's 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 they were out of oatmeal. I didn't have it. I'm all sorry. Oh, 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 oh. It's time for grace. <laughs> I'm about to eat. I mean, Romeo. Y'all. I am stuffed for one. <laughs> Any progress I made this week out the window, out the door, stuffed. But we're gonna not in a oh my gosh, over eight. So, like, we're not gonna get into that whole like, oh, binging, starving ourselves cycle. <clears throat> Bless me. We're not doing that. But we are getting back on track. Um, yeah. But that starts with me getting a good night's rest, soothing, relaxing, to jumpstart our week. Good morning. <laughs> crazy because I actually used to be a dancer use it or lose it is the realest thing ever oh my gosh but I'm about to go ahead so I did my stretch warm-up I'm about to go ahead and do Pilates a Pilates video and then we're gonna get to work I don't know if I'm interested in embarrassing myself again <laughs> so just believe me I did it I'm doing it 
Maybe y'all show me like actually doing like the workout part another day this week. But that's it for now. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Happy Tuesday. Um, full transparency, not in the best mood, but we're gonna change that. The weather is sad looking, you know, but just try to remind myself. There's still blue skies and sunshine, it's just on the other side of the clouds. Like today's a good day. We're about to do some makeup because I need something to stimulate me and make me feel better. Hello, editing Nat here, you guys. I was not feeling it and I decided to do my makeup and I want to take this moment to share a recent revelation I've had with y'all about beauty. So 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 says, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. And although this is in context about sexual immorality, it reveals a truth that we are temples of the Holy Spirit. And so I always pulled back on, okay, so what does the Bible say about temples? Y'all, when you have time, read Exodus 25 verses one through eight. And I mean, what the temple was made out of was the finest, most beautiful gold and silver and scarlet and onyx and spices and all this beautiful the nicest leathers all of this right like the temple was beautiful but verse 8 says and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell in their midst what makes the temple remarkable it makes it significant and not just another pretty building because remember they just came from egypt right? They were around gold and pyramids and all this. Stuff. What made the temple of God beautiful is the fact that the spirit dwelt there. And that is how we should move and operate and think like, don't just be beautiful for the sake of beauty, but we're beautiful because the spirit of God dwells in us. Have you ever met someone who is drop dead gorgeous? And as soon as they open their mouth, they're ugly. It's because it's not, it's not merely the external that defines us, it's the internal that defines the external. It's that inner beauty that makes the outward adornment make sense, like wow, it just elevates and it gives glory to God. But if you don't have the spirit of God, you're, you're just, you're pretty and that's cool, I guess, right? You're just, huh. What made the temple the temple, what made it significant and special is not the fact that it had all the decked out gold and stuff. It's the fact that the spirit of God dwells there. And I just want you to remember that. There you are. For the jewelry, basic. These are actually, I'm just starting to see the first signs of turning, which is making me sad. But I have had these for years. So, my serenity prayer necklace. Oh, we have two necklaces. We're going with this one. Just fixed my hair. And for the scent, I want something super fresh for this rainy day. We're going with House of Salage Cherry Blossom. Y'all, I'm getting so low. And I, I still owe y'all a, um, a fragrance. Mm. I still owe y'all a fragrance collection video. All right, so we are on our way to Olive Garden. I know it sounds weird for a work spot, but look, if you want soup and salad, it's by far the best bang for your buck. For $10, you get unlimited soups and salad. You, you can barely get that at Panera. 
I mean, what's the difference? What's the difference? So, <laughs> that is where we are headed. Yeah. It is perfectly empty. <laughs> I think I caught them off guard. Literally no one is here. Amazing. It's like I have all this space to myself. No one's here. I'm about to get into my word while they prepare my food. And I'll show y'all what I got. So this was technically my chapter yesterday, but I'm rereading it and it hit just as hard the second time. So 1 Peter 5 verse 10. So it talks about um, suffering. Well, first he was talking about humble yourselves, you know, and in due time you'll be exalted. Um, that we have a real adversary, the devil, and to resist him. But this is the part I love in verse 10. It says, And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, that is all undeserved kindness, goodness, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself, God himself, this God of the universe, the almighty God, creator God, Elohim, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. We, we have such a promise and a glory to look forward to if we humble ourselves. Clothe yourselves with all humility towards one another, for God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that in proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. I think so often we can like bully people <laughs> into humility, like humble yourself. Oh, pride comes before the fall. And it's like, these are scriptures, but like, Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares about you. Like, that's literally the same passage. So then, naturally, we have to say, what was the tone of this? Peter wasn't being ugly, right? But it's like, look, brother, sister, cut sis, humble yourself, okay? I, I know it's wrong. I know what they're doing to you is terrible. I know they don't deserve it. But just for a little while. If you would just humble yourself, I know they're acting crazy. Humble yourself. When you lower yourself, God will lift you up. God will exalt you. Mm. And in due time, I love what he, he almost paints what that looks like. He will restore, confirm, establish, strengthen you. God himself will do that. That is a pro will. will. Like terms and conditions this will happen you know what i'm saying mm. Mm. i needed that again because like i said i read this yesterday but i thought it was worth reading again today so good i also just read philippians 2 and it was so encouraging um like if you ever feel like someone is really doing you dirty and you're having a hard time humbling yourself Ephesians 2, not Ephesians, I always say Ephesians, Philippians 2 is also a great place to go because I love how it said like, complete my joy by being of one love, one heart, one mind, doing nothing out of selfish ambition, right? But when you keep going, even God, Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not consider equality with God, but humbled himself taking on the role of a servant to the point of death on the cross. He completely emptied himself. Like, if Jesus can do that, why can't you? Called for an impromptu 
prayer call. And I'm about to beat the devil up. Me and God are really about to jump saying. Because the amount of spiritual warfare. I'm, I'm just going to give y'all a little taste. In the past week, I have been informed of four deaths. Um, I almost got into a car accident today. A good friend of mine got pulled over by the police today. Um, and then y'all been confirming it in the comment section. I've been looking at your comments. And then I just got off of a meeting for one of my um, clients. And he just told me he was going through crazy spiritual warfare last week. Satan, hey, I know you thought you could bother me. You're having a little too much fun. You're having a little much. It's giving prayer and fasting because what is actually happening? Like this is either a really serious test of the corporate body because seemingly everybody is going through it. I was talking to my spiritual mentor. Even she was like, she, it was almost given out of character. Like it's been giving. That's fine. That's fine. I'm mature. I am a mature saint of God. You're about to be handled. You're about to be dealt with. Because I know that this, this battle is not carnal. It's not carnal. And I'm I'm about to handle it the way the Bible tells me to. I'm about to pray. And so I'm actually really excited for that. Just like Feeling like, okay, I know what this is. Like, oh, like, life isn't just crazy for no reason. Like, okay. All right. Dabble. Okay. It feels like, you know, let me take my makeup off while I talk. So to remove my waterproof mascara, I like using, honestly, any, like, gel. Or not gel. Um, you, a cleansing balm. That's what it's called. Right now I'm using the pharmacy one. I don't know why I still have this. I used to have the um, Clinique. Why do I have an empty jar? I don't know. Let's actually throw it out right now. Bop. But I'm about to look like a raccoon. And that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes the devil, he really, it seems like he's just using any and everything to discourage, to distract, to frustrate just to get us off the mark and whether this is merely a test or god's got something cooking up and he's trying to ruin my heart posture to receive it whatever it is like you're not going to get me off my target you're not you're not i am i am praying for y'all i feel so loved and i know y'all are praying for me i would actually love to do a prayer call maybe what if we did a YouTube live, we did a YouTube live and we did a prayer call. Y'all could drop your prayers in the chat. You could pray up in the chat and I'll be praying with y'all. And what do y'all think about that? Would y'all like that? Cause I know not everyone has um, like Instagram or social media. I'll do a poll. I actually have a couple polls coming for y'all. Using my simple micellar water just to um, remove everything else. Let me know what y'all think of it. Um, by the time y'all see this, the polls would have already been done. So if you need to, go to the community tab, check. Also, I need to go back and see what's winning for the bonus video that i'll be filming tomorrow filming tomorrow posting on thursday actually i might post on friday because the perry's post <laughs> on thursday and i can't compete with them Don't ask what happened to this washcloth. Y'all, I saw a spider on it and I freaked out and I sprayed it with bleach. Because I was trying to kill the spider. Whatever, okay? It still works. Now, I had the craziest thought when I was rinsing my face. Literally, 
Rinsing my face is my favorite part of washing my face. And I, um, I've really been using and enjoying the CeraVe Facial Foaming Facial Cleanser. Using her, loving her. But I love rinsing my face. And I'm like, the perfect temperature water, in my opinion, is Luke Cool. So not lukewarm, Luke Cool, like somewhere between room temperature and cold. Right there. Oh my gosh. My per my ideal for drinking water and rinsing my face. Went light today with my um, first aid beauty toner. I like using this morning and night. And my Cetaphil redness relieving night moisturizer. Little nighttime routine for ya. And yeah, we're about to get in this prayer bag. Hello, you guys, and happy Wednesday. Y'all, I've had such a productive day so far. It is five o'clock. Y'all, I I got a bunch of work done. And I'm giving myself kudos because my period really tried to take me out this morning, but I bounced back. Yeah, that happened. Um but we're about to do my makeup because I'm about to film the bonus video. And I decided, well, y'all decided because y'all voted on the poll. We're doing a testimony video. So I'm going to start with my salvation story. And I, I feel like I've always just, I wouldn't say avoided doing my testimony video, but I have so many. Like God has delivered me and... Well, of course, saving my soul, right? Like, that's that's the main one. But, like, he has gotten me through so much. Like, I literally have so many testimonies. I, I never knew, like, how would I break it up? Like, it's going to have to be a multi-part thing, which it will be. But today, we're just starting with my salvation. This is my favorite part. Setting with powder. Y'all see this? And I'm using the Huda Beauty Powder with literally just a powder puff from Amazon. Y'all watch this. You see the texture? OMG. So I concentrate it under the eye and then the residual, I just powder the rest of my face. All right, here is the final look. But I just put on my necklace. And I, honestly, I really need a new chain for this necklace. Oh my gosh. But yep, yeah, that's it. Time to film. Hello, ignore the extra noise. I, it's late, but I'm craving a dessert. So I'm going to make a small bowl of oatmeal using the um, rolled oats. And I really do mean small, like I'm not making a lot. Um, so I like to start it off with water and I put too little in and then I thicken it or I loosen it back up with milk. You'll see what I mean. So, oatmeal just finished. As you can see, it clearly, needs more liquid that's where this bad boy comes in i like to bring it back to life with milk for my sweetener i'm using organic turbinado sugar going in with a small dollop of peanut butter i don't prefer this peanut butter because it has palm oil in it I'm also trying the, um, you know, greasing your spoon trick to see if that really works. <laughs> I guess I didn't do it enough. Whatever. Add the peanut butter, healthy fat, some pecan. Also adds a little crunch. And some chocolate chips. This is really dessert and I don't feel bad about it. Here it is. Probably gonna be hot. Yeah. Mmm. 
No, that's bomb. <laughs> I just needed to talk to y'all I literally filmed my testimony video twice yesterday and I was editing it and I'm like it's still not right first of all I'm just it's not even that I'm oversharing it's not like it's stuff y'all can't know it's just not about Jesus like I'm just I feel like I'm talking about myself way too much they they don't lie when they say like Sharing your testimony is an art. Like, how do I get to the point? Like, I'm over here just rambling, telling stories, like, blah, 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 blah. No. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. We were already six minutes in the video, and I hadn't even started talking about high school yet. I'm 26. No. So, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again because listening to it, it sounded like a story time, not a testimony. And of course, your testimony is telling a story, but you should know what type of story you're listening to, you know? Just like if you're reading a horror book, you should know it's a horror, it's a thriller, or it's a romance novel. Like you should know what type of story this is. Literally, it just felt like a story time. And so I'm going to do it again, but two things. One, I need to charge my phone. Also, two, we're whipping her out. I'm going to tell it in three segments and I'm literally giving myself like five minute, five minute. Well, I might do seven just for ums and um, you know, just stuff that gets edited anyways like keep the main thing the main thing y'all this is actually really challenging and I'm really happy I'm doing it Whew. anyways yeah 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 right now we need to go pick up my prescription so I'm going to pick up my prescription while my camera charges and we also need to run an errand and by the time that's done we should be good to go. Let me show y'all a quick OOTD. OOTD. This is actually a tube top. And I just threw this little cardigan wearing my linen pants and my um, Jacques Mousse Nike shoes. You know, it's giving uniform coach purse. And it's kind of chilly, so we're throwing this on. It looks huge like a puffer, but y'all, it's it's from Shein, it's cheap, it's not that warm. Oh my gosh, I talk about this all the time. Look at the sky, blue, sunshine. It's always blue skies. Y'all, it's always blue skies, we just can't see them. But I also was looking like the difference in the clouds, whenever you're heavy, like it has to rain. Like, you know, we'll be feeling heavy and we start crying. Same thing. Creation just points to the realities of God and how he made us. Wow. And I'm tweaking. I'm so busy talking to y'all. I definitely did not grab my umbrella. <laughs> We're going to stop for gas now. I'm trying to get better at not waiting until my take is actually on E. And oh my goodness, they've been getting me. So clearly we all know gas prices have gone up. I was talking about this last vlog. But why they have gotten me a few times where 
it'll look like the gas price is real cheap. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to that station. I'm going there. Just, just for that to be priced with car wash. Cause I've been looking, I'm like, how was it that much? I thought this was the, the cheap thing. Mm. They really, tr rude. Y'all, they're probably looking at me crazy. So there's these poles right here that make it hard to open the door, but I don't want to be too far away from the pump. They're definitely judging me. <laughs> Let me get out and do this gas. I'm never going to get used to this. I need a man. The disrespect today. Just now, a bird decided to poop on my window. Like, there isn't all this space. You could have done it. Good morning, y'all. Do y'all see my skin? Yeah, the skin is skinny. Wow. I am just cooking. I mean, breakfast, lunch, whatever I need it for. Let me put y'all on. We have onion, yellow bell pepper, and carrots. And I'm sauteing it in olive oil. And I season it up with these guys. We got salt, pepper, curry powder, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. But you guys, I'm feeling so good. I'm a little sore. My little at home. I've been working out more now that I've stopped going to the gym. Like, I love it. I did a um, an active stretch video. And then I did Issa Welly Pilates. Y'all, my my hamstring sore. My glute, a lip, just a t If I like squeeze them, I could feel, okay, they, they, they activated my, um, my back. Like, in here, and my back is sore. I'm like, okay, me. <laughs> but, yeah. With all that being said, my due time yesterday with Char was so good. It was so good. God, mm, I needed it. I needed it so bad. But I'm about to make breakfast. So, I like having those vegetables on hand. Literally, that egg bacon bomb or like if you're doing lunch that with like rice and chicken is bomb i actually have my chicken thawing out right now as you can hear that thing frozen but i think i want something refreshing for breakfast and i've made this before it looks ugly but it's delicious i'm making um tuna salad but instead of mayo I'm going to use an avocado for like the creamy factor for a little extra protein I have some Greek um, yogurt I'm going to squeeze in a lemon for some tang a little cilantro for brightness and salt pepper and a little just Cause I don't have sweet relish, okay? Just a little teeny, teeny little sprinkle of turbinado sugar. Y'all be scared for my life trying to zest um, a lemon, especially once I've halved it already cause you just don't have that much to hold on to. I heard a great tip. If you juice it, then you should zest it cause it just adds more flavor. You see on my, yeah. Boom. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, which is why I'm not showing you all of it. Oh, seeds. I didn't even know this had a seed. So everything's in here. And I literally just mix and mash. Oh, the Greek yogurt. So I have my veg y'all this is so good so flavorful and it's an easy meal prep while you're doing something else 
And to finish off my breakfast, I have my toasted sourdough, necessary for some crunch. Just slap this on. I'm not that hungry, which is why I'm only making one piece, but this is about to be so good. Hello, welcome back, happy Saturday. I, I am beefing with Chipotle. I am, let me tell y'all, I, I wanted to have, well no, first I was already upset, y'all, I thought I was gonna be on a whole road trip right now. Literally thought I was gonna be on a whole road trip to Ohio to see the eclipse, ended up not working out. I was so upset, like, real tears. I shed real tears, but, we're here now and I was like I had nothing planned this weekend because I thought I was going to be in Ohio and so I was like I'm just going to enjoy myself has have a lazy day and y'all I didn't know but I had been racking up the points at Chipotle I was like oh word I'm going to use my points and deliver they Chipotle three four five strikes and you're out like first of all they had a minimum talking like oh it's a ten dollar minimum for delivery then why would you allow me to use the discount not the discount but like use my rewards online if i still have to pay that seems insincere so that's one and then two it didn't even cover the whole cost of my entree so i got i got the salad with double chicken but when it was the delivery option, it only caught, it only covered $12. Okay, fine, whatever. And it wouldn't let me go back in re on my redemption of my point. So now I'm like, now I have to use it. So now I have to get up, get dressed and go to Chipotle. I'm like, I'm picking up, I'm not standing in line, right? Okay, cool, boom. I go to do the pickup, tell me why the amount that my reward covered went from $12.50 to $9.60. So y'all are playing with me. Where, where's the rest of my reward? I should only be paying $1. How y'all gonna change it just based off how I get the food? The food didn't change. That's wild. I did not know that. This is my first time using Chipotle rewards. Some of y'all probably like, well, Natalie, duh. I'm shook. <laughs> shook bothered disturbed like how how are you playing me like that at least be consistent you know like panera for example your reward is two dollars off period i like that because it feels like like i can trust it the the price changing and all that i'm like chipotle i'm giving you the side eye sincere side eye yeah but i'm about to go get this food i have nothing planned today but i'm y'all know i talk i'm gonna find a reason to talk to y'all later about something bye all right we're back it's a little later i'm still getting over the audacity of chipotle but we're about to go to target do I actually need something from Target? I don't, but I'm bored. So we're, we're just gonna look. No, what I do need, y'all love, y'all know I love my Sinbono bag, but I feel like it's just a little too cute, a little too nice for every day. So I want an everyday black purse. Every day, I would love a real leather purse. So like it could last me for years. Like part of me is like, oh, I should go on Etsy or something and like um I want it to look classic I want it to match almost anything so black or gold hardware I just I just need a nice everyday bag not too big not too small because my Simbono one is so nice and I really don't want to use it as my everyday black purse so yeah I'm thinking we're gonna look just look what they have I mean we know Target ain't gonna have no real leather purse but it might have something to hold me over until I can save up for that yes choose your coverage thank you 
y'all don't know how fed up I've been the last few summers. Like, I don't want my cheeks out. I'm gonna need the coverage. But let, let me be real, cause I have swim bottoms that fit in. I don't go, I don't get in the water as much as I want to, but that is something I hope to change this year. I'm so drawn to these dresses, very much my speed, very much giving form fitting, but I'm trying to tap into this, but I just don't know, like, don't square me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna need you to give me a little waist, a little something. Like, I know when people will say, oh, wear what you wanna wear, but to some extent, like, shopping for your body shape is real. Like, I am a very true pear body shape. Very narrow, small, top, big bottom, heavy bottom. And on top of that, I have really long legs. Like, certain things just, I do not want to look as wide as my hips are. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need the definition. I'm gonna need you to give me waist. And it makes a difference. So it's like, wear what you wear. Like, if you like trends, like, get into that, but also be smart. Um, yes. OMG, I, I literally told y'all, I need a skinny belt with silver hardware, and I also don't have a brown belt skinny. This would have been perfect, but they don't have a medium. What's the measurements? Y'all, I went to see if I could get away with the small, never mind. What, Target, you were so close. You almost understood the assignment. You almost understood the assignment. And then you went ahead and did this. Why'd you do that? Hmm. Now this is a color. How pretty, it's like a silvery, like a, a silver muted olive. Like it definitely leans green, but it almost looks gray. Like I know it's pulling gray on camera, but this is so pretty. I don't know why I thought they would have the most purse options at this Target, but I actually did see something. It's not leather, it's like, I don't know what material it is, but the quality feels good. The straps feel good. Gold hardware, but the hardware is not really visible, which makes it easy to wear. And it's a good size. Like, I feel like this is everyday, super casual. I can see me wearing it with a bunch of stuff. We're thinking about her. See, something like this that's clearly trying to give, like, Bottega, Bottega vibes, I just don't... This would not work for an everyday bag for me because it just feels too trendy and I'm this just isn't my style. And like same with this top handle bag, it just looks too corporate. Like this isn't as everyday, easy breezy, effortless as I'm going for. Like if they had this in black, I would be done. It's very similar. The sizes are very similar, but this is a faux leather but it's not super shiny it's nice versus like i said this one is like a fabric it feels really sturdy target do it in black please for me i'm curious do they have that in black and I just don't see it? But I'm still, I'm still kind of into her. We gotta start putting respect on Target. These are so cute. And that's my type of height. Come on. These are pretty. Target didn't come to play with y'all. <laughs> I hate that they're playing this music. 
but so cute. And I like Target shoes because they actually carry nine and a half. Like, y'all need to put some respect. Not everyone is a seven or an eight. I'm putting y'all on. I'm telling y'all. So we had a successful run. Full, full disclosure, I was bad. And I tried on um, that like metallic silver green kind of dress. And this is a real thought. I don't know who designed dressing rooms, but I don't think they designed it with the intention of selling clothes because the lighting in there looks so bad. I was like, I don't know if this dress actually makes me washed out. Like, I don't know if it's because the color of the dress or because I'm in this gray dressing room with terrible lighting. Just, I mean, just if you want to sell clothes. I mean, if you don't want to, please keep it the way it is. But like, I'm like, I feel like it looks, the color, the dress itself was beautiful. But the color on me, I looked gray, but I'm like, I don't know if that's because I'm in a gray dressing room with bad lighting. You know, it just weird. Also, this is a thought, especially for my married women. I know all of us are into the perfumes, you know, the EDPs and the untops, right? Like we, we want the projection and stuff, but body sprays still have a place and it's for the night shower. Cause think about it. You know, like you wanna smell good, but you don't wanna be using the best of the best, but it's like, you wanna put on a little something, but it's like, I'm definitely about to go to sleep. Body sprays, that's what they, I'm like, that's, I figured it out. It's what they were made for. It's for when you want to put on something before bed, or if you're married before sexy time. Cause it's a skin scent, like, you don't have to worry about projection or it lasting forever or the wear time because y'all going to sleep anyways. It makes so much sense. And so I wanted to check out some body sprays. All the perfumes were locked up. Target, do you want to sell stuff? Like, I get it, you don't want people stealing, but how am I supposed to know what it smells like if it's behind? the case like how I'm like see this is the kind of stuff that forces you to go to the white people target because they don't be doing that just saying and I'm not even going to put blame or talk about whose fault it is it doesn't matter the matter the, the fact of the matter is I wanted to smell some of the sprays not buying any today but it's like I couldn't because all of them were locked up I'm like y'all don't even have like the samples out or anything that's crazy but yeah no I was like brain blast body sprays are for nighttime clearly it makes so much sense it's enough to smell good and you don't have to worry about projection or longevity and then you're also not wasting your good expensive perfumes. Speaking of perfumes, I still owe y'all my perfume collection video. And I'm not lying, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm itching for a new one. I'm itching for a new one. I haven't forgotten about Burberry Her London Dream. Also back when I had Shmoney, I did um, Noteworthy, like I did the quiz and I got the samples and they had a couple that I really, really loved. Also, I wanna try the fur. Y'all heard of fur? Like the, um, yeah. Back home, quick target haul. So I'm taking a slightly new approach to my weight loss. It's not coming off as fast as I'd expect because I was trying to do what I did last time I lost a bunch of weight. But the last time I did that, I wasn't really like cooking at all. I mean, for instance, like 
I still, I did do the food entrees. It still love food entrees, still swear by that. But it would be stuff like, okay, a bag of chips. Okay, five crackers. Okay, one serving of pancakes. Like easy stuff where you just like look at the bag and you know how many calories it is. Versus now that I'm cooking, it's like, who's gonna sit there and count, okay, this much Greek yogurt, this much oil, this much salt, this much whatever. Like it's just it's too much. So I feel like it's harder for me to like actually count calories. Like the level of effort when you actually cook with real ingredients and like measuring things out, it's just, who has time for that? Oh, I put a little butter on the toast, a little butter on the eggs, a little butter here. How much better? It's like, who has time to do that? But I still want to lose weight. The other thing is, the last time I significantly lost weight was during the pandemic. No. Well, it was, but um, 2021, I was like, 23? I was 22. No, I was 22. I'm 26 now, right? So I gained, I lost a bunch of weight when I was 22. I gained some back and I, I was maintaining a place I really liked for a long time. And then I blew up last summer. Y'all watched me blow up. <laughs> and so I want to get back down to like a comfortable place, but it's just been harder because, you know, I hit that 25 threshold. My body's different. I'm also not as active. So I feel like I need to take a different approach to my weight loss. I came across this really bomb um, registered dietitian. I'm going to pop her on the state, not on the stage, <laughs> pop her on the screen. Nutrition, babe. Her advice is so good because y'all, I love food and I love to eat it. And I'm I'm someone who can fall into the like fast binge cycle. Like, oh, I ate too much. I can eat it fast tomorrow. And then you're so hungry and then you have one bite of something and then you kind of like go crazy. I could fall into that easily. But she, her approach and system seems like my style. Plus you don't have to count calories. And so her whole thing is like, water first veggies most then protein then carbs like fill up in that order and so we're going to attempt that like with this method you should feel fuller more satiated like you're going to have more energy because you're eating a bunch of veggies but like veggies are actually good like if you know how to like season them and cook them and so i'm excited and we're starting off easy starting off light Got some baby carrots. I also, from Target, got some cauliflower that I'm gonna roast up, season up, you know, have some fun with. I got some granola to add crunch to my, um, what is it called? Wonder Whips or my oatmeal. Had to re-up on my cleanser because I'm out. This is what I use to wash my face in the morning. Balm. This doesn't lather. It's super gentle. Y'all know my skin loves oats. This is so good. Like literally put it on, brush your teeth, let it sit there for like two minutes. Your skin is so hydrated and plump and mm, so good. And I bought a couple pink tops. How cute. It's the color block for me absolutely and then i got this green one absolutely i got smalls looking at them like i probably could have gotten away with medium but i plan on losing weight anyway so it's fine so i already drank a bunch of water remember the veggies we made earlier this week about to devour and if i'm still hungry then I'll, but I had Chipotle not too long ago, so I should be fine with just this. 
Good morning, happy Sunday. I feel like it's dark in here or something. I don't know. But, oh, oh you like that? You like that little outfit? Get the purse. Okay. Brandon Black wood top. My outfit on line. Pants, Target. Jacket, Target. The little scarf. Marshalls. I I am feeling myself. Oh, and the shoes. Y'all know these. Um, Fashion Nova. But with that being said, but that is the end of this vlog. I love you so much. And all the love. Thank you guys. Thank each and every single one of you who watched my testimony video y'all know how nervous i was about that um who watched it and loved it and you know if god was able to move and touch you through it i am just so glad don't just sit idle like allow that to you know give you momentum to really give god your life don't make the mistakes i did y'all i really just want each and every single one of you to just grow with god grow and your conviction grow in your knowledge of him and your love for him and i'm about to do that i'm about to head to church and i will see you in my next video bye